Hello guys and welcome to the channel. It's been a long time since my last video, however if you have been keeping up with this series then click the link in the top right corner to watch the previous episodes. Anyways, I'll give you a brief of what happened last time. Remaining Autobot forces led by Ultra Magnus made one last stand against the menacing Decepticons. Starscream, a transformer who fought alongside Ultra Magnus, betrayed the Autobots and became a Decepticon once bearing witness to the corruptive power Dark Energon had granted Megatron and wanting that same power for himself. Now the new air commander, Starscream rushed down to the battlefield with members of his armada to extinguish the sparks of his former comrades. With that aside, let's begin. Pieces of burning metal surrounded the Autobot leader. The barrage of missiles had torn a gaping hole in his chest. His attacker swooped up into the sky and transformed to land in front of him, lifting piles of dust and ash, clouding Magnus' vision. The Seeker's eyes pierced through the cloud of dust, her eyes glowing, glowing blood red. Not so high and mighty now, are you, Ultra Magnus? The Seeker said. Star Starscream? What the scrap are you doing? Is this a defection? You would lower yourself to Decepticon levels. Infuriated, Ultra Magnus leaped up and lunged at Starscream. The Seeker easily dodged the attack and punched Magnus in the face. No, I would further myself from the Autobot cause that was doomed to fail. Transforming his hand into a dagger, Starscream raised his hand and stabbed Ultra Magnus through the chest. I'm sorry Magnus, I have no choice. After all, it's survival of the fittest. No! Racing towards Starscream, transforming into robot mode, Goldbug rammed the traitorous Decepticon into the ground. Red Alert came racing in to assist the young Autobot. Sharing blasts and punches, the two Autobots subdued Starscream. Other remaining Autobots rushed in and piled on, the, on top of the Decepticon. Furious and enraged, Starscream unleashed a shockwave, hurtling the Autobots to the ground. Zooming towards the Autobots, a bunch of Seekers transformed and crashed into the Autobots. Bewildered and puzzled, Ground Goldberg stood up, only to be swept off his feet by a Seeker and smashing him into a wall. So Autobot, are you prepared to die? It's time for you to rest in peace, he said. Suddenly, the Seeker was blasted aside. It was Ultra Magnus who had fired the shot. Uneasily, the wounded Magnus said, Goldberg, there may still be a chance to claim a victory. If we all ambush Megatron, we might still... No, sir. We can't. You're too weak. We're all too weak. Magnus silently nodded in recognition and gazed upwards towards the top of Darkmount. At the very top, Megatron overlooked the battlegrounds with disappointment written over his face. Shockwave! Charge Dark Darkmount's ion cannons and target the Autobots. This battle bores me. Take over control while whilst I entertain myself. Plummeting down, Megatron slammed into the ground and everyone stopped in their tracks. Decepticons! Finish these insignificant pests! Pausing, Starscream looked over to Megatron, then over to Ultra Magnus who was being tended to by Goldberg and drew his weapon pointing towards them. Flashbacks of the Autobots filled Starscream's head. He couldn't destroy, yeah. so he lowered his weapon. Starscream's defiance of the order stood out to Megatron and was noted by him. One by one, the Autobots fell by Meg Megatron's and the Decepticon's hand. Approaching Ultra Magnus, Megatron began to charge his pulse cannon, when out of nowhere, Goldberg impaled him through the chest. Goldberg was shocked when Megatron pulled the weapon from his torso. Dark Energon ushered from the Decepticon's wound, but it began to crystallize and glow. Putting away his pulse cannon, Megatron grabbed Goldberg by the throat and began to throttle the life out of the scout. A giant Cybertronian truck drove past the metallic carcasses of Transformers who were long dead or soon to die by Megatron's hand. The bot transformed and stood over a decimated Goldberg. The Transformer leant over to comfort the broken scout. Goldberg weakly cracked a smile upon realising who was next to him, but then his optics flickered and extinguished. 
above the transformer, the ion cannons buzzed as they slowly powered up to wipe away the battlefield to leave a clean slate for the Decepticons. The Terracon horde yielded by the Project Darksteel creeped over ever so closer to the Transformer. Noticing him, Megatron bellowed, Ha! You look familiar! Yes, you're the bot who I let bear witness to the birth of a new Cybertron. I could care less what your name was. Besides, no one will remember it or any other filthy Autobot name. I'll make sure of it. The Transformer stood tall and said, Sadly, Orion Pax is no more, but I have come in his place, to aspire to be better than he was. This may be the darkest hour, but light always persists. This will not be the Autobot's last stand. My name, Optimus Prime, will be the first of many to haunt you forever, Megatron. With that, Optimus drew out his blaster and put on his battle mask. So guys, who is your favourite Autobot? Let me know down in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like. And if you want to keep up with this series, then please consider subscribing. That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day and see you soon.